Hello, Marvelites. You are watching a special mailbag edition of Marvel's The Pullist. I'm Ryan, AKA Agent M, and I'm joined by Will Moss, editor, Supreme. Now, Will and the editorial team and the creators, they get so many great emails into mheroes at marvel.com and our other inboxes. We thought, why not spotlight a couple of emails that we got in and, and show them to you guys? So, to start us off of our three questions, we've got one about Black Panther. And it goes, in issue number two, the artifact that was captured during the Shi'ar War on the Shango Array base was called Makran Shar. Is this from an issue of X-Men that we need to go back and read? It's just a fan, does not want to be lost. This comes in from Third Eye Shine. The Imkron Shard, yeah, they picked that up in Black Panther 2. They stole that from the, uh, the Intergalactic Empire of the Wakanda, the force that they're rebelling against. It's a piece of the Imkron Crystal, which is from old X-Men comics, but there's nothing that you need to go uh, read to get that. It's just a, we're not, we haven't fully shown what the Maroons want to do with it yet, but it's, a, it's something that they need in their mission. Our second question is about Death of the Inhumans, and it goes, the book has been great, and all of Eddie's art has been awesome. Will we see some cool fights with Crystal and Karnak and Medusa? So far, it's been all Black Bolt, and who wouldn't want to see Medusa dishing out some brutality with her hair? And this one comes in from Levin 2. Yeah, right, Death of the Inhumans 3, that ended with Medusa leading the rest of the royal family to go recruit Beta Ray Bill to join them uh, to, as they go rescue Black Bolt from these being held by the Kree. So they're definitely gearing up for a lot of nasty and human action uh, in, in four and five. Karnak gets some good punches in on someone, <laughs> I'll say that. Final question for this episode is about Thor, and it begins, Dear Thunderers, Thor number four brings to a close the story of Hela's return. The highlights are Thor rallies the heroes of Valhalla into hell to defeat the Queen of Ashes. Thor misses his master. Balder and Brunhild return to the land of the living. Great work again on the story and art. P.S. So are we calling Thor's hammer Hellbringer? This comes from in uh, Mike S. All right, well yeah, Hellbringer is one of Thor's many hammers. Mjolnir's gone, destroyed, so he's been getting a bunch of new hammers and they none of them are strong enough. He needs new ones all the time. Hellbringer's one of them. There's always gonna be new hammers he's using. Will, awesome. Thank you so much for your perspective. Sure. And your work on these comics, they're so good. I love them, you know I love them. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, so if you guys want to submit questions to be read on the show or printed in the books, email them to mheroes at marvel.com and make sure you mark okay to print. Yes. Super duper important. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you real soon. I'm Ryan, aka Agent M, and this is Marvel, your universe.